Hey YouTube, this is Gothic King Coach and uh, if you're in the area on Sunday, July 10th, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., you gotta check out the Crush the Can Fest, the tin can at tin, the tin can. This will be the last event to take place on the tin can. Let's all go do our best to make it a big as, as big as possible. This is a Facebook app I was asked to do a shout out for. I'm doing it. Spitting feathers and Helios the teeth, slave to the kill terror in the sky moths first and goal that s guess laps kaleidoscopes uh, organs skylines and condition oakland and beer and pretzels i hope i said all was right but it's, it's the event line up from the bottom to top okay They'll be taking donations for the touring bands, Vestisk and Lasp. No drinking, no fighting, let's act like adults, okay? No drugs, smoke your filthy tobacco outside, have a great day. Filthy, tobacco's awesome, fuck you. No, I'm joking, but uh, understandable for secondhand smoke. So, you have been told of this. Crush the fest, crush the can at the fe fest at the tin can. I don't know what that, that's at, I just, you know... These are fans of mine on Facebook who asked me on my YouTube and show who asked me to do a shout out and I'm saying you gotta check these guys out. I've heard some of their music. Um judging by the names, it should be pretty good pretty good music. So you heard the rules, you know the band, you know what's up, so check them out. Oh, here we go, we got a link for a YouTube video for one of the bands. So we'll check these guys out. And if these guys are good, then there's a chance the rest of the bands will be good as well. I'm confident they are, but just to, just to be safe, you know, these people are, yeah, let's see. Also, happy 4th of July, America. Let's see. <laughs> Sounds like it could be a good time. If the, now, here's the thing. If you're making concert videos like this, just uh, friendly, constructive criticism, though. Don't, you know, have it so fucking loud and the phone next to your speaker. That's going to make it the treble bounce like crazy and it's going to make a video sound like shit. But other than that, you know, these guys got a good sound just a few seconds I heard. So that's the band Slave to the Kill. And you guys got to check out the Tin Can in that event if you are ever in the area. Where is it located if you are interested? Um, hmm. Location, the, tins, the Tin Can. Created by Mitchell Schroeder, Curtis Regal. Hope I said that right. I would like... I don't know what's going on. The tin can. Where is this located at? See, I can't really go because I'm going to John Corn two weeks. Um, I don't know where it's at. I don't have a car. But I'd like to attend it. Sounds like it'd be a really cool place to chill. Let's see. Um, the tin can. I... Don't know where that's at. They don't have anything on Facebook here that says um, where they're located. But if you've heard that Sunday, July 10th, the Tin Can, Crush the Can Fest at the, the Tin Can. Uh, so that'll be the title of this video. Um, if you're in the area, if you know what that is, um, I've never heard of these guys. And these are just friends of mine who suggested these guys, these bands, as, um, a, as an area of interest for me. And I'm checking them out. So... I'd like to attend. I don't know where it's at, and I don't, you know, know how I'm going to get there if it's close, you know. But um, so far, there's 178 attending. So if you don't know anybody, it's a great place to socialize and maybe meet some chicks, <laughs> you know, who like the same kind of music, you know. Because I've seen Cradle of Filth concerts on YouTube, and the chicks there are more, oh, a thousand times hotter than the chicks at Justin Bieber concerts, and they're actually of age. So, <laughs> you know, I'm all on the subject of chicks. If you, you want to pick up chicks, like, you just got to be confident with yourself. I'm not being a hypocrite because I'm not very confident with, himself, with myself. But here's the thing. I have a girlfriend on Facebook. We met. Okay, it's cool. Alyssa Hoffman. Love you, baby. But... Chicks love being sing to. They're like, oh my god, he can sing to me. So here's the thing. You want to pick up a chick singing to us, she'll, she'll dig that. Oh, like Justin Bieber. Fuck that girl. She cannot sing for shit. It's horse shit. Anyway, if you don't know how to sing, take voice lessons. So you're going to go up with some chick and be like, hey, baby, I love you. She'll be like, dude, he cannot sing for shit. Oh, but she might think, oh, that's cute. He's confident. You know, confidence goes a long way. So I'm told. It does, though. <laughs> you know, I'll give you an example. 
of this. Now, I was in late junior high, and I decided to um, sneak into my parents' liquor cabinet and down some Bacardi with Old Orchard juices. So I was just a little tipsy when I went to the dance. And in the center of the court at the teen center. And I actually, like, an, I made an ass of myself. I started dancing like a male stripper. And then when an ACDC song came, I started headbanging, playing air guitar and shit. It was priceless, dude. And I didn't give a fuck. I was just a little tipsy, you know. And I actually had chicks ran against me because they thought it was cute, too. And they got into it, you know, the no hand grind, uh, you know, what, all that ordeal and shit. So, and then I woke up the next day going, I actually danced with a couple of chicks. Hmm. Was it the alcohol or was it my confidence? Joking aside, confidence gets you a long way with anything in life, like girls, getting a job, you know, doing it successfully in your life. <clears throat> <clears throat> so if you're in the area of the tin can, you gotta check them out. <clears throat> um, I've never heard of these guys so just recently. These are friends, fans and friends of me on Facebook and my YouTube and shit, so just like give them a shout out. Also, a shout out to God is a Robot, another fan of mine on my YouTube. Uh, okay, and here's the thing. Mainstream depends on what it is. Meaning, it can mean, it can mean popularity, whatever, whatever. So, Cradle of Filth is not mainstream with Justin Bieber. He's mainstream with Cradle of Filth fans. It does not make them a mallcore goth band, okay? Or, you know, I think of mainstream as a sound, like Justin Bieber or Lady Gaga. But some people think of it as popularity with amongst a group of people. Either way, you know, either they are or they're not. So maybe we're just both right or wrong. I really don't give a shit, you know. And if I create a little filth, that's cool. You know, I got my taste in music. You know, I'm not going to press key for like Justin Bieber. That's your choice. For liking a girl who can't sing. Oh. I mean, have you seen Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber? Aren't they just the cutest lesbian couple you ever did see? <laughs> oh, she was in the hospital. I wonder for what. Apparently, she got a headache on the Jay Leno show. She probably saw how huge his chin was and going... Oh my god, that chin of his is so fucking huge. I'm getting a headache. Uh, no, I'm joking. No, this on Jay Leno. He's funny. Okay, I've seen some videos of Jay Leno of his garage. He has like a shit ton of cars in his garage. Everything. Stanley Steamers, Model T's, Ben Franklin's, you know. I'm, okay, that's a trail on a car. Franklin's, I mean. AC Cobras. I'm like, okay, how the fuck is he afford that many cars? That's just crazy. That's, that's, you know, seriously, if you've ever seen a video of Jay Leno's garage, he's got a shit ton of cars, and from anything to everything, just classics. I'm like, damn. I'd be nice to be like, what car do I take today, the Model T or the Cobra or the Stanley Steamer? Hmm. <laughs> You're just lucky they didn't call those cars the Cleveland Steamers. <laughs> like, this, this car smells like shit. Well, what do you think? It's a Cleveland Steamer. It's a wannabe Cl Stanley Steamer, which is a car that runs on water, by the way. Which is like a car popular in the 1800s to the 1900s, you know, in the late, you know. So even before they had the Prius, they already had cars running on water. That's crazy. But they kind of dropped in and adopted gas as the main um, source of transportation. Hmm. Well, speaking of the cars, uh, I'm going to Job Corner in South Dakota, Black Hills, in two weeks on the 17th, I believe. It's 17th. And when I get a job, I hope to build my dream rat rod. You've already seen this before. I'm not going to go into this, but there's a picture of it, you know. With the Dragula lamp lights, you know. The concept is cool. I'm taking a 59 Cadillac Superior Combination hearse and then a 1926 quality and just kind of, you know, together, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to have topic. If you see these people, like, go to their concert, check them out, see what they're all about, you know. Hope, you know, it's it's, co it's cool to see bands like that making it, you know. Especially when today's music just like fucking song. Katy Perry, oh my god, Britney Spears and Justin Bieber, uh, it's just, it's not music. It's, it's a song, but it's music. Oh, it's just like fucking sucks. Music should not make you want to kill yourself like listening to Justin Bieber. That's probably how they killed Bin Laden, is they made him listen to Justin Bieber for 10 hours straight. It's like, fuck you, Americans, and your faggy Justin Bieber. And then they said they shot him. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> so if that's the truth, then Justin Bieber helped kill Bin Laden. At least he's good for something. Or he, I mean she. It. <laughs> Anyway, when you hear bands go like this, <laughs> actual music, not just, oh baby, baby, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> You're just jealous. I am jealous of his fame and his money. I think I'd be sick if I had just to his fame and his money. I think it's just ridiculous that he's making that much fame and that much money off shitty music. I'll give him props for it. But it's very similar to the modern art movement. Anyone can do it. Just, oh, look, throw paint on a 
canvas and call it art, or piss on a urinal and decorate with flowers. Oh, look, it's art. Oh, look, something like a picture of a little girl about nothing. Oh, look, it's music. <laughs> Whatever. And I just wonder how many people would celebrate if Justin Bieber died. If Justin Bieber died in two days, how many people would celebrate? A lot. That's how much hate he has. It's kind of sad. When they want to admit that they're jealous, they just say, Oh, I hate him, but I'm not jealous of him. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. You just have the balls to admit it and not care what you think. Straight up. <laughs> Oh, I'm working on learning how to play Cherry Pie by Warrant, so... Well, on YouTube, I learned it. A chunk of it. So you start off with the 12th fret. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is all I know of, of the song so far. And then that burn in and I'm having trouble with that. That next part I cannot figure. I'm still trying to figure that out. But then the rest of the song looks pretty easy for me. And then I'll look on the solo, or at least I'll have a, a full song when I go to John Quarry. You'll be like, oh, this nigga right here in this BC, but he can't play. Like, bitch, fuck you. And then you start playing Cherry Pie. Like, oh, he actually knows the song. Oh my god. Uh. Well, here's the thing. I know chunks of songs that I pick up with my musical ear that I have not learned in music because I cannot read music to save my life. I need to learn how to do that to get better at guitar. But... She's my cherry pie. It looks so good. Bring it to, to you. Uh, sweet cherry pie. Huh. Swing to the left and swing to the right. Swing to the bass in the back of my car. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no gas. And then the dad catches the dude swinging his daughter, and he's just like, I'm going to kill you. He's like, you ain't going to swing with my daughter no more. Yeah, but how many dads who are very protective of their little girls are going to say, just going to say, you ain't going to swing with my daughter no more. And they're going to be like, I'm going to kill you, you son of a bitch. You stole my daughter's virginity. Ah! Okay, if your daughter's 18, okay, you know, I understand you want her to grow up too fast, but she should have the right to make her own decisions. You know, she's, after all, a legal adult. No, uh, that's one thing. If your daughter was underage and she's fucking older man, uh, none of that bullshit shot molestation is just nasty. Poor shit. You know, I mean, I don't think people should be allowed to date until they're 16 because love is such a complication. It's just such a hassle for people. It, it causes so much drama and unnecessary bullshit. And when you're at a young, impressionable age of like 12 or something years old, you know, you're going through that. It's just twice as hard because you're already hitting puberty, so it's more stress than you need. But, you know, if you're willing to put up with all that and find someone you love and care about, then you go for it, you know, that's your choice. But So hopefully I'll have Cherry Pie mastered in two weeks. I don't know. I'm not guaranteeing it. I really just buckle down and practice, not just go and actually play some guitar. This is a guitar playing, it's just, you know, not structured enough to be considered technically correct. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know what it is, you know, chicks just love rock stars and musicians. It's like, oh, he made me a song, he's so special. Because it makes him feel important. See, the, the bottom line is, you should think with respect, like you treat like you treat yourself, okay? If you can't respect yourself, then how are you going to respect a lady? You see what I'm saying? You can't have confidence to respect yourself. You know, she's going to be like, oh, he won't respect himself, and why is he going to respect me? You know, I don't know, it's just, yeah. Something my dad told me. You've been asking to the ladies, the ladies have been asking to you. He, his dad told him that. Hmm. It's, it's basically the golden rule. You know, it doesn't have to just be chicks, you know? It's anybody, you know? If you don't want to be treated like shit, don't, you know, then don't treat someone like shit. It's just as simple as that, you know? It's common decency, goddammit. <laughs> One more guitar playing, check out my channel and see what you think. Until this is gothic, King Cobra 2 with my radio. Thanks for watching and have a happy 4th of July.